Why, hello everybody. So, this is the new update for Pirate Software. It's the April update for 2023. And we're going to talk about Heartbound. We're going to talk about Champions of Breakfast. We're going to talk about Ferret Software, if you don't know what that is. And um, a whole bunch of stuff. So, let's get into it. The first one is with Heartbound. We have a bunch of new content that's actually set up. So, that new content is going to be available soon. I was going to release it at the beginning of the month, but something happened, which you guys are going to be excited about. So, new content. We've got Sheldon's storyline has been extended, so that'll be pretty good. Um, I fixed a number of different bugs throughout the month, which is quite cool. But the big one, the reason why we don't have an update in the beginning of the month, like I was planning on doing, is we're now going to be doing PTPT translation. So, Portugal Portuguese is going to be supported. Uh, we've hired on a new translator. They're going to be doing all of the Portugal Portuguese translation, which I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for for a really long time because we've supported Brazilian Portuguese up until now, but now we have Brazilian Portuguese and Portugal Portuguese. Both of them are going to be supported. There'll be a new button that shows up. We've got quite a lot of work ahead of us for this, but our new translator is awesome and works really, really fast. So this is all the stuff that's going to need to get done, all these zeros down the side here. And yeah, that'll be pretty soon. So the next update is going to contain all of the new PTPT translation, and I'm going to be working with them to get all of that finished. So they're, they're you know, they've started in on it. So I'm really excited for that. Uh, for the next thing, uh, Champions of Breakfast. Let me go pull this up. Let's play a Dark Tide earlier. It's a fun game. Champions of Breakfast is our arcade shooter. I don't, I haven't really updated this in a really long time. This was our first game that we launched as a studio ages ago. Um, something back in 2016 we launched this and it was our, it was our first game it was the, the thing that we we learned how to launch games on Steam with like we wanted to learn how to launch games and like see what it was like and what's the whole process of putting stuff on Steam and how to get feedback and run a community and all the things that we do now right and this was this is what set that all off it was a very short game I think um, it took a total of 24 days to get it from like I want to make asteroids with a toaster to my video game is on Steam so it was really fast and I still update it. So the, the last thing that I updated with this was we now have full Steam Deck support. So if you play on a Steam Deck and you want to play this, it's only three bucks. Uh, I usually put it on sale for like, it's like two dollars. So if you want to, if you want to play it, play it up. But yeah, for those who don't know, it is out and I actually have to put some patch notes up for this. So that'll, that'll be done soon as well. So I'll have that up for you guys. The next one is Ferret Software. So if you guys don't know what that is, if you haven't seen anything about what I've been doing on Twitch, I normally stream on Pirate Software, so twitch.tv slash Pirate Software. Uh, the community really, really wanted to see our ferrets, because we have a number of ferrets, right? Um, so we made a channel for it. You can see them here. They're running around. They're inside of a gigantic cage. This cage is a Ferret Nation cage. It's normally made for 16 ferrets. And we've got nine of them in there right now. So quite a lot of ferrets, but they're very, very well taken care of. Shay is actually an exotic vet assistant over at a, a nearby veterinarian and uh, knows all the medical stuff for them, so they get really good medical care. We have them on a full raw diet, which is the best possible diet for a ferret because they're obligate carnivores, so full raw, raw meats and everything like that, and they're, they're monitored very heavily. And they have an entire room to themselves, which is their playroom that I have in there, and every day we take them out, they have playtime, and then we interact with all the ferrets and we, we get to have a lot of fun and the community gets to be a part of it. In fact, that's what I'm going to be doing right after this video. So right after I record this, we're going to be going and doing that. Um, on the kind of sadder part of things, um, we lost one of our ferrets, which is snails. Uh, originally, when I, I first got ferrets, I, I always wanted them when I lived in Southern California, but they're illegal there. So when I moved up to Washington, we, we, got new, we got ferrets, right? And one of them was Loki and one of them was snails. And we rescued them from University of Washington. They were lab animals. So they they gave us them. And normally lab animals only live about a year. And then they destroy them. They kill them. Right? They put them to death. But you can adopt them, at least from University of Washington, if you contact them. So that's what I did. Loki is actually right there on the left side. You can see her little head. She's quite happy. And snails, unfortunately, passed away this last week. So that was kind of rough. But um, it led into something that's, that's pretty good for everyone else. I... By creating this Ferret Software channel, it's actually created a lot of money um, just from people watching the channel. You can see there's 41 people watching it right now, but that generates ad revenue. And it started making about $1,000 to $1,500 a month in ad revenue alone without anyone throwing money at it whatsoever, just watching the channel. And we've started to use that to rescue ferrets around Washington State. So I've now 
got 10 ferrets. We actually just got a new one today over here. She doesn't have a name yet. And she can't meet the other ferrets yet because she's got ear mites. So she came in kind of kind of messed up and she's going to get some medical care before we can get them integrated with the rest of the colony. But yeah, that's it. So we've been rescuing ferrets. We've been taking care of them very well. Their cage gets cleaned twice a day. All the bedding gets changed three times a week. Um, really good diet playtime all the time lots and lots of different you know enrichment activities and, and good medical for them so it is not like a rehoming thing where i rehome them to somewhere else they are they're here to stay for their whole lives and that's that's what it is and on top of that um i'm going to be putting this in the description below but if i go over to discord real fast and i do fundraiser in any channel i'm going to do this you can do exclamation point fundraiser on my channel on discord or you can do it in uh, the channel over on twitch we actually have a fundraiser going for that local vet that does all of our stuff and they do all the care for exotic animals in Tacoma, Washington, which is where I will live. And they do like tons of stuff with ferrets all over the country, or, like all over the state. And then they also do a lot of care for animals that are in, um, uh, like, God, what is it called? It's uh, shelters. So they do, they do shelter work, which is, they do that for free and then it builds up like an imbalance for them so it does cost them money but they they do it for free and it's a really cool thing so what i ended up, ended up doing was i took a thousand dollars of the ad revenue you guys have been giving me by watching the channel and i threw it towards this and i've been i started this fundraiser like a day or two ago so if you want to be a part of that that is also in the description below and that's it yeah so it's kind of a lot of updates for for ferret related stuff but it's been it's been a lot this month and a lot of you guys didn't know that i was doing that so i wanted to talk about it but yeah new heartbound update's going to be soon we're going to be doing that ptpt um translation and that's it that's that's the whole deal so thank you guys for watching and i will see you next month well actually i'll probably see you tomorrow so come to the stream it's uh it's, you could go to piratesoftware.live which will redirect you. Or you can go to twitch.tv slash pirate software. And there they are. They're all going to get playtime. They're so excited right now. It's, it's activation time. So see you guys later. Bye, everybody.